today. Um, uh, we just got back from Golot testing um, yesterday, and um, still the plate not working even after the cylinder replace. Uh, replacement. So uh, one of the guys made a suggestion that let let's check the the plate because uh, we can see um, it basically leaves on motor, and as soon as the fogger comes in, you see the the nice flame. My 60 foot is down from last year. My mile an hour is down from last year, and I have made sure that I can activate the nitrous on the through the cylinder and it's spraying so right now the last uh culprit that could be is the plate right now working through uh getting it all i mean i didn't want to bore you guys but i got all the cables off so anyway i think we got everything disconnected and it's clean so there we go so um and while i got this one of the things the guys told me i was having issues with uh the carburetor it, uh take some uh some um didn't seem like it went to ring clean like they maybe got some trash but they were saying spray carburetor cleaner down in the jets to make sure it didn't get any dust or trash down in there it's blocking these up so i'll do that while it's off one thing when i was going through the jets i mean i ran through some of the valves the valves was a little heavy, I mean, uh, a little tight. So I, I will run through the valves again while it's cold. But one of the things I want to do is actually take a look at that spray bar here. And uh, I'll take it off. So that's where I, so uh, plates off. I got four bolts to uh, to get this loose. And it's basically, I can get... Uh, Un unhook my uh, nitrous and here and then I can spray the spray bar the guys told me to take uh, to take some brake clean too and go through that I'll probably look in there see I um, one of the things I didn't think about is when I hurt the motor at the end of last year um, it melted I think the number two or three on the passion side but I saw remnants of it on the seven and eight size so debris definitely came up from that piston back up through the intake so i'm wondering if some of that debris hit my spray bar and that spray bar is kind of on the old side so what i'll do is probably go ahead and uh get it out and just replace it. i think it's just a cheetah big side plate i'll look at it simply it's got a serial number on it but i'm still troubleshooting from uh like you say place the solenoids and um, I just bought some uh, snipers. My buddy told me to get these snipers. Uh, let me sit around real quick. So the sniper here and part number there for the nitrous. It's like $80. And the fuel side is similar to that. And uh, this guy, this fellow here, part number's right there. I think it was $60, $68 to get you... Uh, uh, brand new, you know, get you a new set of solenoids. They're good to 250. I don't spray a lot on the plate, so just enough to get me uh, get the ball rolling before I hit it with the fogger. So that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, like you say, I'll make some progress, and I don't know if I'll be able to go back out uh, this year, but I do want to make this uh, change. And one of the things I do want to do is put, uh, what I might do is take the plate off and load a little nitrous just in the purge valve and hit the activation button. Uh, we'll think about that because I want to see, I'll see how good the uh, brake clean sprays out. If it doesn't spray out or if I can't get it really in the hole like I want to, then I'll look to get um um test out the spray bars with nitrous in it but anyway guys i'll check back in with you later welcome back to hot rise world so this is day two of trying to figure out why my um nitrous isn't working on the plate so i think i, I at least see an issue um 
I don't know if it's the root cause, but uh, it's definitely an issue. I'm gonna try to show it to you. Let me see what I can do. So I pull this off, and I I don't know if you can see it, but um, you can see the holes really light on the. I guess that's the fuel. I, I, I have to research which bars what, but you can't see it. But I just look my top bar right here. This let's see if I can back up a little bit. Mm, wrong way but the top bar on my spray bar is actually turned and it's actually pointing towards the bottom bar so I ran I ran this top bar right here is completely clogged the weird thing on this spray bar is I guess I'm about to take it apart but um, I priced it out and I, I'm just gonna buy a new one but I'm gonna be really interested to see what the new ones you can see the pinholes on that one right on the bottom bar and when i ran um i got some compressed air and like a little air can like you blow a, la a computer out i saw air come out here but when i try to go on the fuel side which is the top side one the bar is rolled and then two you can't really see the the, the hole so i don't know how nitrous are even trying to come out i mean so definitely have an issue with my spray bar and uh I'll look to replace it. I think I found another. Like you say, this is just a big shot plate. Nothing too crazy. Um, so, I did want to let you know that I did find out. So, if you're having issues, um, like you say, I, I don't know how old this plate is. But if you're having issues, one of the things you want to check while your carburetor's off and you have some time is to look at, the, look at your plates. I mean, on the no nozzles on your fogger you know you can pull them out and inspect them but uh like you say i had the plate off and when i put the carburetor back on i didn't really look down in there to see and i don't know what it looks like even the nitrous i mean the fuel i'm expecting that spray out in kind of a left to right pattern so the way the nitrous bar is spraying i thought it was kind of be like a uh, what they consider a uh, 45 degree angle down that way it's kind of spraying down underneath the plate but the way it looks like it this one is spraying directly out to the perimeter each side so I'm gonna look up big shot to uh, this afternoon and find out but like you say I can definitely get compressed air on the bottom which appears to be the fuel side but the nitrous side so this could explain why a car from last year i don't know if some debris got in there and like close them up or what but i'm definitely down about 10 mile an hour um or so at about six tenths on the on the nitrous side so just wanted to show you like uh show you at least the troubleshooting i did like you said i just took uh some compressed air some guys can use it but uh Yeah, I got this co compressed air like a fluorescent. Let's try to stack it in the in here. And like I say, this the nitrous on for the fuel is coming out this way. I actually thought it was down. Um, and see, I actually have a a crossbar plate over here. I was looking at, but I think it. Uh, I actually have the my old hoarded plate. So I may try to slide this back on. I just have to figure out with the fogger, a lot of the, the, the holders and stuff are in the way. But I have this, I have a whole Hornet plate set up right here. I wonder, I may call them and see if I could just uh, use the crossbar on one side of them and cap the other side off. But it'd be really interesting if I could use this uh, along with that, so. But any any anyway, I just wanted to show you guys at least that uh, uh I think I may have at least found that problem with um with my car and why it was basically running on the fogger. Like I say, it's two kits. First kit's plate, second kit's fogger. And uh, you know, me and the guy me and the guys over the we're talking it's like, man, basically sound like it's leaving on motor and then the fogger comes in and it takes off 
And uh, that's what it looks like it was doing. Because uh, I don't, like you say, I, I thought they were supposed to be dual, dual, uh, dual, uh, what you call it on this plate. But, but anyway, that's at least some something interesting I found with this plate. And uh, so I'll, I'll buy a new one, like you say, this doesn't, you know, some people say you can clean them, but it's really interesting, the bars, let me see if I can see, um, on this bottom part, you can see those little pinholes right there, but they're almost directly spraying on the bottom bar, and that's really weird. Um, and maybe that's how they were supposed, but some of them are covered. Some of them, I can't even put compressed air on this side. And spray down it, I don't think. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I think I got it. So it appears that, like you say, fuel nitrous. And it appears that the, the the fuel sprays out here and the nitrous catches and then push it down at an angle, but I'll spray it on this side. It sounds like it's okay, but I can't. But on the nitrous side, sorry, I can't, I can't get it. It's almost like it's clogged on this side here. So like you say, when I do that same thing, I can't even push it in there. So definitely, I'll try to put some solution in here. Something's, something's going on. The bars, like you say, are a little bent. And I think it's just easy to replace it. I mean, it's $200. The bars look to be bent a little bit. And so, I wasn't sure, but definitely, like you say, I can't, like right in the fuel side, I can push it in here. Hopefully, I got the camera where you can see it. But the fuel side, it definitely spray it. When I spray it on, the, on this side here, I don't really feel it, the air coming out like I thought I would. Like I said, there ain't a lot of pressure, but anyway, that's at least what I found. So, uh, I'll take a look at that. We'll, we'll get a new bar, um, to replace it. And, um, it's back. But, uh, we'll get a new, get a new spray bar, place that. I'll do the same test just to see if we can, uh, see the difference. I'm not sure if we supposed to. But, uh, but anyway, and I don't know, well, unless they have another test session, like, coming up soon, I don't know if I'll, if I'll, uh, have, have another event to come to, but hopefully, maybe they will, or if not, it'll be like our early, uh, sorry, um, also, uh, going through on this carburetor here. I got these uh, Seems like I wanted to kind of load up And I didn't really understand why it was but. So uh, um, Well, anyway, I didn't want to make the video too long So got the plate off like I said, I'll take a look and I may just use the this, uh, Hornet, um, no, the Stinger. The Hornet's the two, I got the Stinger, which is two stage plate, but uh, I don't need that much nitrous. And what I don't want to do is um, put four small jets, it just makes it really, makes it even easier for, uh, for uh, trash to clog up the jets. I don't want to have that issue, so. Anyway, um, appreciate you uh, looking at the channel. Like I say, hopefully the next time 
I'll try to go back out to the track. Like I say, uh, um, they have a class 252 called a Stream Street that has ran at a couple of different tracks. I want to try to get back in a series. It's kind of hard just to pick and choose some of these races. Uh, but I do want to get back in a series for you guys to make more consistent videos. I also want to get um, more cameras. Um, right now, I kind of rely on my brother, luckily, to come or somebody else to film. But if he can't come and I don't have anybody, then I really can't get you guys any good footage. So, uh, um, at least if I get a GoPro, uh, at least two GoPros, I can stick one on the side of the car and then have an in-car shot. So, uh, even if I can't get a, you know, uh, a side shot from the car, I'll at least have that one. So, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, like I say, hopefully this route, because like you say, I, in the previous video, you saw I replaced the solenoids because stupid stupid me i didn't test like you say for you guys make sure you're not wasting money what i should have done with my old solenoids is actually what i did at the track with the new ones is uh on the fuel side um i just unhooked it and pointed the cable away from the car you know like a, the fuel side i just pointed it in a in a uh um, gatorade bottle and tapped the solenoid to activate it and saw fuel was coming out of that side so i know it's getting fuel and then i did the same thing on unhook the nitrous side i clicked the uh click the activation switch and i saw nitrous come out so i knew whatever issue i was having it it was at the plate one thing i didn't do was that i should have did that before i ordered those, those new cylinders but you live and you learn try to save you guys a few a uh, few dollars <laughs> at my expense um don't buy cylinders until you know 100 percent that they're not working because like you say, plungers go bad and stuff like that. But uh, one of the things I assume I was here and probably wasn't is that I was having an issue with the solenoids and it proved me wrong that it wasn't solenoids. It appears to be this plate issue. I can't really, the, the straw on the air, air side, the diameter of the tube should, looks the same. So I should be able to do the same thing, but I can't. So it seems like there's something that's clogging the entryway on the nitrous side. But like you say, it's just a nitrous big shot plate. So the easiest thing to do is just pay $200. And then I'll redo this test once I get it. Unless I call tomorrow, I'm actually gonna call, uh, I'll call, uh, uh, I forgot who makes the Hornet plate, but I'll call that company and ask them, hey, what, if I cap off these two, could I still use it? But they may tell me to kick rocks, I don't know. That's the uh, Hornet 2. I actually bought the Stinger the Hornet 3. So. Right, right. do call me guys uh, I, I actually like to say I was big in the plates at one time and I was buying stuff I had it over the years but this is the Hornet uh, Hornet version 3 so what they did was they actually extended the nose uh, compared to the Hornet, uh, Hornet plate. so this is the standard Hornet plate if you can see the the nitrous nozzles come here so what they found out is guys with like um, those CHI intakes, this right here, this nitrous would hit like a 2828 or 2924. They're short plenum, so this is this actually sprays down at a 45 degree angle. But on those real tall intakes, like I got a CHI intake, what they found was that the nitrous on those uh, Stinger, the Hornet two plates, is actually hitting the side of the intake instead of actually ran down in the runner so what they decided to do is like oh we dropped this two inches and now when they spray at that 45 degree angle it actually try have a better shot to spray in the runners of the intake so i may call and because this plate and this plate are essentially the same i just don't know like this plate right here as you can see it's, it's made to sit right under the carburetor so 
I don't know if th having this right here would uh, mess up air distribution because as you can see, this is made so the four butterflies could open up compared to this guy where nitrous just freely flows and the bar, you know, you got this small area to block air. So I think this, this right here may be a little more restrictive if it's not right under the carburetor. And unfortunately, I got a 4150 carburetor base. So this right here wouldn't, this will actually sit on the uh, intake side. So I may just have to keep it. Like I say, I keep them because you never know. Or if somebody needs a, a Hornet plate, it's brand new, I bought it. And then uh, the class I was running was only a plate. I was building the car for Ultra Street. And then they switched to say, hey, you can use a fogger. So, And then that class is now really only in Maryland. So I'm not big. I, I, I don't mind. I'm just not a, I, I'm more of a shootout guy, class type guy. I don't, I don't really get into grudge racing that much. I mean, I enjoy watching it, but, you know. My, me personally, I can't get into it. Uh, one, financially, <laughs> I don't want to, uh, I don't know if I could uh, afford to uh, put the money some of those guys put up. And two, I don't have a just kind of meal my, myself, so. I always say if you can't afford to do something or lose something, don't do it. So, I rather get in that same mindset that, hey, I just can't afford. Anyway, guys, uh, comment, like, subscribe. Like I say, next video, I'll have it where we got um, the new plate. Until then, guys, uh, y'all have a good one.